Good afternoon. I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church, and this is Food for Thought for Monday, July the 13th. During these early weeks of July, I'm sharing with you the entire chapter uh, from Joyce Rupp's book, Fresh Bread. She writes deeply about what it means to be a letter from Christ, and I think this is especially pertinent to us during this time of sheltering when writing letters is one of the significant and safe ways that we can be in communication and in fellowship with the people that we know and love. And so I'm going to continue um, as we savor deeply uh, this chapter together this month. Across all of our lives are marks of the Lord, whether we see them or not. Marks that make us a letter from Jesus. We wear messages on our personalities about what we know and believe regarding the person of Jesus. What is it to have the qualities of Jesus written on our hearts? Think of how powerful and influential and significant that can be. Can you imagine yourself to be a letter from the Christ? Can you believe that you are a message sent to tell others about Jesus? If we are to be an open letter in which others recognize the Lord because of what is written in our own hearts and on our lives, then we must have his qualities etched on our very own being. We must constantly strive to know Jesus, to know his gospel goodness, so that we can have it as part of our life's message. We must come to know the Jesus whose letter we are, to renew our acquaintance with this one whose godly qualities shone through his deeply human person. We must come close to this Jesus who was so taken up with his father's love that those around him recognized him as the one nearest to the father's heart. That's from John 1, verse 18. They saw that the power and goodness working through Jesus's ministry was that of a divine source. He was truly a letter from the father, just as we are meant to be a letter from the Son. Jesus turned to the Father to learn from him. He knew the Father's goodness was being manifested through his own life because he kept returning to the Father in prayer, thus filling his heart with a message that could be read in every fiber of his being. So, too, we with Jesus we must keep returning to him in prayer so that we can know him well, so that we can invite his qualities into our own lives and wear them on our hearts. I'll end there for this day, but I want to just invite you to reflect deeply in these next couple days about what it means to return regularly to the person of Jesus so that you might be full of who he is. On Wednesday, we're going to be talking about the qualities of Jesus that we are called to mirror in our lives. I hope you'll be with me again on Wednesday. In the meantime, be blessed, be well, and know that you are beloved. Amen.